All right, we're here with the motor, just getting ready to test it out for the first time. And this is the controller, fan and all. And again, we have the throttle. We have the on and off switch here. And then this one turns on two of the coils. This one's just one coil. So I got 24 volts charging or charging over here at 24 volts powering the motor and I've got Anderson connectors here so I can rotate the batteries around and then I've got these are this is just the controller battery that um, does the LED and um, you can see fan so there's two LEDs here you can see the ones faintly on I change the position. So you can see right here, that's position one, position two. So now the other LED should come on. You can see that's on instead. Now I don't have batteries hooked up right now. We're gonna run that later um, on the water. But so far when I ran it, it, it kicked off with um, at 24 volts, 150 amps. Um, when it actually was bridging it with that wire, smaller wire there. Um, and then it evened out at around 70 amps. It was, it was kicking. Um, well, this is only a four horse um, drive here, so. So this is it. Now uh, we got it covered here. Um, There is a um, ignition coil there that we're going to power our Renaissance sign with, except I broke part of the sign today. And then I just have this case here. You can see in that way. And there's the flywheel in there. And you can see in the motor too, through the holes. All right, here I am, Jordan Lake, another boat, another test run. First one, actually. <laughs> we got 24 volt batteries here. Right now I just got the rolling motor and we're just heading out backwards so we can get out of the way. Off of this battery right here. turn around and see how this thing runs. This thing can go very fast, of course. It's not meant to. You can see an idea how fast we're going. Clear. All right, we're getting ready here to set up. We've got jumper here like we had before. And this is the primary battery. Um, we have this connected at 12 volts. 24 volts for the motor controller gets 12 volts. It's very important. <laughs> that drives the opto board right here, the 12 volts. And so this is the top portion, group two, group one is underneath there. And so we're just going to started here and I'm gonna we're in drive right now so I'm just start it with the one on fully. There we 
go. <laughs> We're not moving fast, but we are going. Now I want to check the temperatures. They're all good here. Of course, this is off. Make sure. <laughs> Everything in there is cool. Okay. So we have only 50 amps right now. So now this slows it down. I think we need a bigger prop on here. It's spinning fast. Anyway, it works. Oh, we want to check the charging rate. So we're at 29 volts here. It's really charging. I don't want to push this whole thing too hard. So we can check the primary battery. Kind of voltages shouldn't be that bad because it's not drying that much. Twenty four point seven. Water skiing today. <laughs> so we got some temperatures going on here. We're gonna have to watch. What we want to do is cover that up so that I can keep cool. Yeah, it's going too hot. We have to cover the case up. So I need to put some thermal Thermal switches in there to turn them off to get cold when it gets hot. And that way the fan's blowing up there. So let's turn this thing around. And we have uh, Inside, of course, this wasn't rubbing. Wait, oh, help. We got to make a better holder. All right, so it's not a very big lake, but So we've got a little distance. Now we're only going well, five miles an hour. Of course, everybody wants to see me go this speed, right? Like this guy. So we'll take the dip. 
down. So now we can adjust the speed. We can even turn off one half of the motor. I gotta screw that case on it. I just wanted to measure the temperatures on it. We got some waves here. Always cut into the waves. So the only thing about electric motor is you have to have we have to have contacts here that spin better. So we don't have to bend the copper wires. So yeah, we're doing good. So you can see as I change the amps for the speed, the amps go up. Now this isn't full on either. I have another adjustment inside that I have to I have to tweak this a little bit better so we can push out more power. But what I found really interesting last night when I was running this motor, the primary battery was charging up um, when I had no, um, the third coil wasn't connected. Um, that was very interesting. So both batteries were charging also at the same time. Now I got this weight not distributed right actually. It needs to be farther back. I have to move all these batteries before I put it on my uh, trailer. It's very hard to actually get this off because it was front heavy. Because these are uh, that's 500 pounds of batteries right there. Let's take a look at the charging rate. Again, see if anything's happening. video is actually in slow motion. I'm not actually moving faster. <laughs> no. The grandpa, grandpa speed. So actually we want to look at the temperatures. See, the temperatures inside the motor are good too. That's what we want to make sure of. I want to see the coils not too high in there. Oops. So I need a bigger prop, but I don't want to push this out drive too hard. I mean, it can go faster.
All right, I'm gonna have to turn this camera off. So now I've docked here. <laughs> so let's look at some voltages. So we started off with uh, 25.9 around. Um, you know, so let's push the batteries up a bit. So let's look at. Of course, the batteries will stabilize. 25.5. How's that for running 50 amp load for half an hour or so? Maybe less. I don't know how much time that was. Alright, so now I gotta move these batteries back. Except I forgot to bring my cable. Anyway, there we have it, our first run. So, this was just kind of a quick job again to get it ready just to show. It can do some work, charge batteries while it's running. And what we'll have for the show is um, the neon sign lighting up. Because um, there's the ignition um, still in the motor drive. And uh, I had that running, but I didn't, want, I didn't care to bring it today. So there we have it. Hope you enjoyed our video.